Now, this question says, what is uh, this expressed in this simple form? Now, one way to write this would be 24x plus 28y, all divided by 4, now plus 9x minus 6y, all divided by 3. Now, this would be 4 into 24, this would be 6x plus 4 here would be 7y, y, this would be 3x, y here would be 2y. Collect like terms, you have 6x plus 3x, that's 9x plus 7y minus 2y is 5y. This is the correct answer. So the correct answer here is going to be V. Now, text 7 says express this as a percentage. Now, representing as percentage means putting it in form of uh, debt. So this is 4 year 1, 4 years 25. So this will give you 25%. So correct answer here is uh, B. So the next question says, Rotich invested 6000 in a bank. The bank paid compound interest at a rate of 10% per annum. How much interest did it earn at the end of two years? Now, all you need to do to solve this question, this is a compound interest. Now, you know that interest is PTR over 100. First, that's a simple interest. But now, we are going to compound it. So, let's get the first year, which is going to be 36,000 multiplied by the time is, uh, for the first year, that's 1. Then the rate is uh, 10 all over 100. Double zero cancel double zero. So, we are going to have the um as we will have it, the interest as 36,000 change. Now, all you need to do is now do um, the cap and the and uh, the principal 36,000 plus 36. Now, this is going to give you a total of uh, 39. This will be 39,600. So, this will now be our new our new uh, principal. So, we will perform this again. 39600 multiplied by 1 year multiplied by 10 all over 100. Double zero cancel double zero. This will give us what? 3960. So we will now sum these two up. That will be 39600 plus 3960. This is going to give us a total of, um, this will be, give us 43,560 shillings. So as easy as that, you can solve any compound interest question. So we go to the next question. That's question 40 that says, 250 babies were immunized at the hospital in a certain month. This number increased by 20% for the next month. How many babies were immunized after the increase? Now, if it was 250 babies in a month, in one month, then the increase is 20%. Let's find the increase times 250. Now, 0 cancel 0, 0 cancel 0. This is going to give us 50. That means the total babies that were now immunized was now a total of 250 plus 50. So it gave us a total of 300. So the correct answer is 300, which is now what? D. Another way you can solve this is to just add the increase 120 over 100 times 250. This cancel, this, this cancel, this. 12 times 25 gives us 300. So whichever way, you can get the correct answer. So please, if this is your first time of coming to this channel, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and also click on the notification bell as you prepare for your videos. We are going to be releasing more videos. Stay tuned as we do that. Question 41 says, a people scored the following marks in a test. Now you can see the subjects and all the marks in percentage. The marks were represented on a pie chart, was represented on a pie chart. What angle represents the Kiswali score? Okay, so in order to represent this on a pie chart, the first thing you need to do is uh, sum up the scores. So this is going to be 80 plus 84 plus 90 plus 78 plus 68. Now, when you sum this up, it's going to give you, um, that's 400. So, um, then we are looking for this. So, this is going to be 90 over 400, which is the total multiplied by now. It's represented in a circle. So, that's going to be 360 over 1. So, this is going to give you, uh, this 0 will cancel this. This will cancel this. 4 here, 1 is 1. 4 into 36 
it's going to give us 9. So we have 9 times 9, and that's 81 degree. Final answer. So the correct answer here is going to be what? A. So now take me to question 42. Now. Question 42 says, a road measuring 4 cm on a map has a natural distance of 8 km. What is the scale used in drawing the map? Now, it says 4 cm, it's what? 8 km. Now, we're going to we'll keep converting this. 4 cm is going to give us, to convert to meters, you change 8, like multiply by 1000, that would be 8000 meters. Okay, so now, 4 cm to convert this to centimeter if you recall you have to multiply by 100 this will now be 800,000 cm now divide both sides by 4 divided by 4 divided by 4 so this will be 1 is 2 4 here will give us what 200,000 so the correct answer it's B is this that's A so Next question says, the age of eight learners at a new school were recorded as follows, 10, 13, 7, 7, 14, 8, 6, 15, and 7. What was the median age of the learners? Now, in order for you to get the median age of the learners, you need to arrange these numbers in ascending format. So this is going to be 6 comes first, 7. Now, when 6 comes, you cancel 7. There's one 7. You cancel one of the 7. Okay, there's another 7, you cancel this. The next one is at 8, you write 8, and um, then 9, no, we have 10, you put your 10. Um, do we have um, 11, no, do we have 12, we have 13, so you put your 13, uh, we have um, 14, you put your 14, and we have um, 15, so you put your 15. Now you can see this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Now, if you want to take the middle of this number, this is the first 3. And this is also the first 3. So this is the middle. So we are looking for the median. So the middle is two numbers. So you take the average 8 plus 10 divided by 2. So this is 18 over 2. And that will give us what? 9 as the final answer. So our correct answer it's going to be what? B. So the next question says Mr. Kamau paid 12,000 shillings for a television set after she was given a discount of 20%. What was the marked price of the set? First of all, you need to understand that the marked price is the price that you meet a product on the supermarket before you are given a discounted price. So the discounted price is like a reduction in the amount of money for you. Now, I want you to know that the discounted price, which is 20%, 20 over 100 multiplied by the marked price, which is X, is equal to... Now, when you do this, you are going to get the amount of discount he paid. So let's call this equal to discount price. Okay? Since we, can't even, we don't even know the discount price that he paid. Now... Another thing you need to establish here, it's, um, you need to know that when you do the max price, which is X minus um, that, the amount he paid, which is uh, 12,000, you also get what? The discount price. Now, I want you to know that the discount price is the amount that was reduced for him. So he got 20% reduction. So when you do the max price, which we are looking for what he paid, minus 12,000, you get the discount price. Now you can see, if you call this, call this equation 1, and let's call this equation 2, you can see that equation 1, equation 1 is equal to equation 2, in the sense that both of them are discount price. So I'll do x minus 12,000, Will give me uh, this will be 20 over 100 multiplied by x. So this is going to be x minus 12,000 will give me 0.02x. So if I collect like that, this will be x. Sorry, this will be 0.2. Okay, so x minus 0.2x is equal to what 12,000. So this will give me 0.8x equal to 12,000. 
Now from here, we can divide both sides by um, 0 0.8. So that would be 0 0.8x over 0 0.8 will be 12,000 divided by 0 0.8. So this will cancel out x is equal to uh, 12 divided by 0 0.8, which is going to give us what? 15,000. Now, if you want to test this, let's check. 15,000 minus 12,000 will give you what? 3,000. Now, 20 over 100 multiplied by 15,000. Double zero will cancel double zero. This will give you what? 3,000. So you can see this is correct. So the correct answer here is D.